Hello, my name's Keith Allison. I'm a consultant plastic surgeon and I work at the Nuffield Health Tees Hospital in Teesside. I also work as the clinical director in plastic surgery at James Cook University Hospital in Middlesbrough. I'd like to talk to you about how patients might present when they are worried about their facial appearance uh, as a result of ageing. With ageing, there are various things which occur. The first is that the patient's bony skeleton can change, so the eye sockets become a little bit larger and the bones on the cheeks flatten down and patient's teeth or dentition shrinks and their jawline shrinks. In combination with this, there's a general reduction in the patient's facial fat, there's a decrease in the patient's elasticity, so what happens is that the patient's face and soft tissues tend to sag and this leads to a squaring off of the jaw and neckline appearance which uh, typically is called jowling or jowls for the patient. The approach to managing this with any patient is to take, take a full history and examine the patient. Surgical approaches to the management of jowls uh, include facelifting surgery with or without neck lifting. A facelift operation is a major surgical procedure. Some facelifts uh, can be done under local anaesthetic. Someone who presents with Pronounced skin excess will require a general anaesthetic operation with an incision in front of their ear, from the temple, down in front of the ear, behind the earlobe and into the mastoid area or into the hairline. And this allows access to the subcutaneous soft tissue skeleton which we call the SMAS layer. With this layer this can be tightened up and then this will improve the jawline and the neck and then the excess skin can be removed and closed without tension. This is an operation which takes between three hours and four hours. The patient's quite often in hospital overnight, but just one night. It's not a particularly painful operation to recover from post-operatively, but patients are bruised and battered, and it takes several weeks before they can be back into their normal routines. A lesser procedure from a facelift perspective for patients who are younger and don't have so much jowling or skin excess is known as a max lift which is a minimal access cranial suspension operation which involves a similar incision from the temple down in front of the ear to just behind the earlobe. It doesn't have the same risk profile because there's less facial dissection and in patients who don't have too much skin excess it often gives a lovely result with less post-operative recovery time and less post-operative potential for complications.